Hi, Larry Stewart uh, at Edwards with uh, John Thomas, who's strategy manager for construction technologies for Caterpillar. I'm talking about uh, dual GPS technology being brought down to the D6, kind of a big deal with uh, the kind of volume that the D6 gets. Yeah. Um, uh, th that's a technology that you that, that's proven uh, on the on the D8, proved to be really popular, and now we're now it's brought down to D6. Why don't you tell us about? what dual GPS technology is and, and how it's important to come over Yeah, so a lot of, a lot of folks in the, in the industry today are using grade control products, right? So Caterpillar has AccuGrade, uh, our AccuGrade grade control products. Uh, Tremble, who's one of our partners, has their Tremble GCS product line. Top Gun and Leica have their products as well in the marketplace. Um, what, what this system does is it takes those GPS receiver antennas that, that you historically see on the blade that look like goalposts, and, uh, and it moves it onto the back of the cab. Um, and we did that in the D8 back in 2012, the D8 and the D9. Uh, we initially launched with a single GPS antenna but found out that there were some accuracy issues that single antenna solution brought to our customers on slopes. And so we kind of stepped back, redesigned the system, went to a dual GPS solution, still with those on the cab. So what we're really thinking that this is going to deliver to our customers from a benefit standpoint is all of the typical benefits and value that they that they think of when they think of GPS grade control. Yeah. But in addition to that, what it's doing is it, a couple of key things. It's taking those high dollar components, it's getting them off of the blades where they could be damaged. It's actually increasing the safety of the system because now our customers aren't required to get up on the blade and remove a GPS receiver antenna at the end of the, the day or the shift. And those coil cables that, that go from the antennas to the, to the machine, to the front of the machine, those are, are no longer there, right? So those aren't points that we may have a failure mode of the, uh, of the system. So it really has some safety and some, some kind of durability things there, but as well it has a feature that we call track mapping. So in the, in the past, what, what, if you have a blade mounted system and you're wanting to record an as-built three-dimensional service, yeah. kind of, what have, where have I been and what was the elevation? It was based on the cutting edge of the blade. So if you were floating the blade above the ground a foot high, then the as-built map showed the map a foot high. Now, with the, with the GPS receivers on top of the cab, they're always looking at the blade location as well as the tracks, the bottom of the tracks, which hopefully no one's floating the tracks. <laughs> so, and what it does is it says, okay, if I go across this square meter of job site and my blade is at a different elevation than my tracks, I always know my tracks are right. Okay. And it uses that measurement to create the as-built map. I see. And the, the, we should say that the, that this this uh, dual G GPS system is a little different from CAT AccuGrade. You're still offering CAT AccuGrade on on these machines. That's correct. Because the, the the adjustment, the actual location of the, the blade edge, is done through position sensors in the hydraulic system. Right? That's right. We have two position sensing hydraulic cylinders on the front of this machine. Same thing on the D8 and D9. That gives us the ability to have the GPS receivers kind of out of sight, out of mind, out of harm's way, and still know where the cutting edge of the blade is. The AccuGrade systems have a lot of value to our customers. If, if they are a customer that wants to move their GPS system from machine to machine, it's probably still the correct choice for them. Okay. But if they're going to dedicate a GPS system to a, to a dozer for the life of the dozer because they know that's the work that they're primarily going to do is, is rough or finish grading with that machine, this is a great solution because it integrates those components and protects them. But AccuGrade, yeah, absolutely still in the market, still a place for it. Is there a difference in accuracy between AccuGrade and, and the typical GPS? The typical advertised differences, the typical advertised accuracy of an AccuGrade or a blade mounted system across the industry for GPS is typically about a tenth of a foot, right, is what we say. We say about the yeah. diameter of a golf ball. Yeah. Um, and we're typically talking about the elevation accuracy. Mm -hmm. This system is still within that range. But it is not quite as accurate as a, as, a, as a blade mounted system. A blade mounted system actually gets better than a tenth of a foot, even though that's what we typically market. Okay. This system certainly doesn't get as accurate as, as a blade mounted system does, but it's still in, in, in the right soil conditions and, and in the, in, when the system is measured up and calibrated properly, it operates in that, in that tenth of a foot range.